Tribes is fun. Tribes, <laughs> tribes makes me want to go out skiing. <laughs> the amount of speed you can have in that game. It is, it is a cool game, man. The movement in that game feels a lot smoother than the previous Tribes games. Uh, really enjoying it. So. They definitely made it easier <laughs> to move. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, guys, a few more phone calls. Lines are open. Anybody can call in. Uh, the um, 2012 announcements hopefully will be coming out later on this month, if not the first of January or first week. But we'll see. It's not my decision. It's Sundance's. Uh, exciting, exciting stuff here. Mm-hmm. A lot of man, so many players came. So many Koreans came to the last event. What was it? 22 total Koreans came to Providence. Unprecedented, from what I understand, gentlemen, of uh, that, sick. that many Koreans coming to a foreign tournament. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. You guys watching No Country for Old Men. <laughs> the uh... all right, we're gonna cut it. I think everybody called in that wanted to call in. So, all right, let's start off with favorite moment of the year. Starting with you, Galen. Favorite moments. Um, it's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, it is, man. Um, I would. I would have to say, does it have to be MLG related or just like esports related? Esports related, gaming in okay. general. Okay, BlizzCon was just like actually the most amazing experience, like of my life just like I mean I've seen some pretty awesome crowds at MLG events and the people definitely do represent but that crowd at BlizzCon man was just like actually unbelievable like it was there were so many people and like everyone was just there to watch StarCraft you know during like the GSL finals and stuff and it was just so awesome being surrounded by like that many diehard esports fans so I would say that was definitely moment was GSL finals at BlizzCon. It's amazing. All right. Dave? Wigan? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> favorite esports? Uh, honestly, like, watching BlizzCon <laughs> was pretty far <laughs> up there. Like, just seeing seeing that big of a crowd for something that I'm, like, in a way involved in is just, like, absolutely mind-blowing. Um, I guess for something specifically, I attended i think i think i think mlg anaheim that entire event the crowd just the way it went was like that was when it really like sort of like hit me like this is actually just the coolest job in the world and it is working out fantastically man sweet yeah that has to be the moment that crowd in anaheim man oh so good every crowd has been great this year uh, but the West Coast feel and having all those Blizzard employees there and meeting Dustin Browder and meeting Mike Morheim, getting to shake their hands and meeting David Kim was pretty sweet. I had so many moments. Oh, my gosh. I mean, finding out that I was going to be on the main stage introducing the next players for the <laughs> first time uh, was pretty big. And I'm so I'm so grateful for the people that posted and read it on Team Liquid that totally supported me because... Those places are where people really go through the gauntlet when it comes to the internet. And I'm glad that I was able to perform at a level because it is a performance. You know, I, uh, I'm a professional actor, but when I'm out there, I'm doing something that I'm not, I don't I have, to, I have a script that somebody else wrote. I have a script that I wrote out of my passion. Like, I love this stuff. I love these players. I love StarCraft too. I love esports. And it's something that I would love to see grow that's untainted and unsoiled, unsoiled from the bureaucracy of Hollywood that is really stifling artists right now. I mean, look at look at SOPA, man. That's backed by the Motion Picture Association <sighs> of America. Could talk about that for which an hour easily. Which is, oh my goodness. Well, we're not. Not in this episode. Anyways, yeah. we need to keep the net free and keep the net open. And there were so many, so many amazing moments. Uh, but mine's BlizzCon, and it's for two reasons. The first reason is when I checked into the hotel, the GSL production crew was there, and I met up with Mr. Che later on, 
and MMA and MVP were there, and they came up to me, and they were really excited to see me, and I was excited to see them and got to talk to them in my broken Korean and their broken English. And the GSL guys that were there translating, they put me on camera, and they said, who do you think's going to win? And I said, man, you know, MVP, he's really good. He's a really strong player, but MMA is like my brother, so I choose MMA, okay? So I go to BlizzCon. I'm loving Diablo 3. I'm really enjoying Heart of the Swarm. It's really cool. I get to meet a lot of cool people. David Kim comes up to me after we have this presentation and I ask uh, uh, a lore question. Um, or was it a lore question? Maybe it was another question. No, it was it was the esports I think it was question. A lore question. Oh, it it was the, I did ask a lore question previously, but that was with uh, uh, Chris Metzen. Metzen? Yeah. Um, this was a later question, the question that I asked that MLG put up on the site about uh, the concerns of Heart of the Swarm being released during a pro circuit. Anyways, after that, I went up and talked to, uh, maybe it was the head writer or something. Anyways, David Kim comes up to me and says, I really love your work. You do such a good job at MLG. And we started talking for about 10 minutes. And he was saying, MLG is our favorite tournament. Uh and just all these nice compliments from him. Like, this this is coming from David Kim, one of my personal heroes when it comes to video games. And I was really blown away by that. It was really cool. And then to fight and to be at the tournament when MMA won. When MMA won and I got to hug MMA after that event. And then MMA saw the video after the tournament. And so when I saw him at the next MLG tournament, he goes, you chose me? Like, he was really excited because on the video I chose him. And I said, yeah, man, I chose you. So... Those moments wrapped into one, because they kind of chained together from BlizzCon, was the best moment for me for 2011. And right under that was when I was out in the crowd with all those signs for Providence. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. Man. That was super cool. That was super cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and have shout-outs. Galen, we'll start with you. I might be a little more long on my shout-outs because I was kind of long in my favorite moment, so I apologize, guys. We're wrapping up the show. So go ahead, my friend. <laughs> sure. Uh Twitter is at MLG underscore Omerta. Stream is twitch.tv slash Omerta SC. Uh, I haven't been streaming as much recently um, just because my internet's really funky right now. But I do like to stream, and I try and commentate on the stream when I have viewers and they ask for it, so I, I do like to do that. Um, definitely check out my work on majorleaguegaming.com. I do lots of StarCraft II related content mostly written content, uh, articles and such for the site, but I also do writing for the daily show um, StarCraft Report, which comes on Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern, hosted by Patrick Chobopian and JP. Um, so if you guys want a good place to go for daily StarCraft news, I help them out doing a lot of the writing for that show. Um, it's really good, and that show's got a lot of potential, and it just keeps getting better and better, and we all really listen to feedback that you guys send in, so, like, tweet or email at me, Patrick, or um, JP, or Reese, the other writer for the show, too. Uh, we definitely listen, definitely like to hear you guys' feedback. Galen, thank you so much for being a constant guest on Shifting Gears. It's been a pleasure having you, especially Thanks, Thanks with your, your amazing StarCraft II knowledge and your great perspective coming from a protoss player it's always it's always a blast playing with it's, you it's not always the most fair and balanced commentary <laughs> but it's uh, at least informed most of the time yes no it's very good you are you are a treasured asset not only to mlg but also to this show wigan my good friend shout outs uh well shout out to all the awesome people i have met over the course of the year like even just even just between streaming and things like that, um, but especially Silence, Tumba, Robin, uh, I guess Galen. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, you wouldn't be a Master League Protoss, wouldn't for me. Wow. Well, sure. Not about that, but uh, no. Um, yeah, and and shout out to everyone who is watching this right now, man. Because of guys like you, I get to do cool jobs like this so that's just that's just like means the world to me um check out my stream twitch tv mlg underscore wigan i play masters league terran in protoss um i also play lots of tribes lots of soon to be lots of the old republic uh what other games do i play 
Battlefield Three. Know. Battlefield, yeah, sure, mm -hmm. on there. Um, I'm also down to coach whomever for whatever they need. I do not charge because I'm not good enough to charge. If I was GM, and he's good. Go. He's good. He's clutch approved. <laughs> Dude, I lost. I lost to drones today. Chef made nothing but drones and just beat me. I can't charge anybody <laughs> for coaching ever. Yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, MLG underscore Wigan as well. Uh, I love to hear from people on there. What else? What else do I need? to say just thanks to everybody man josh it's been a hell of a year thanks for having me on here it has been man been thanks for going to raleigh with me <laughs> getting us these awesome jobs it's thanks changed for all your support man it's changed our lives buddy it's crazy it's crazy we were two we were two kids with stars in our eyes driving down to <laughs> raleigh california and i had my i had my phone recording videos with those freaking loud cicadas Doing interviews with you and interviews in the hotel and made a YouTube channel and showed it to some guys at MLG and they said, Hey, we'd love for you to be a cameraman and then the rest is history, bro. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the show. I'm gonna wrap up the first season of Shifting Gears. Gentlemen, ladies, it's been a pleasure. A lot of people say, Oh, it's been a dream come true. Oh, it's been a dream come true. But let me tell you something. For me, it's really been a dream come true hosting the show and for the being in the position I'm at at Major League Gaming. When I first started off as a cameraman, I was really intrigued with esports, with video games, and with the scene around me, not just because of the video production, but because of the atmosphere is something that was true, something that people were passionate about, and we wanted to see grow. And to see that growth from a small little corner with one bench at Raleigh, North Carolina in 2010 to the main stage beating out network cable um, channels for viewership at a certain demographic is phenomenal to see that kind of growth in one year. Esports is exploding. I love it. And I love the production value that MLG has put into it, the amazing shows that they have right now, this being one of them and look forward to it growing even more in 2012. I would not be in this position without Lee Chen and Mark Turner. Those two guys have done so much for me, so much for us, and meeting those two guys in a hotel in Raleigh, in the lobby, because we they were the only guys that didn't look like they played Halo, has <laughs> really uh, changed my life and Wigan's life Absolutely. And we would not be anywhere near MLG without them. So my shout-outs go to them. Also, working with all the casters and all the production crew, C-Stream for Life, and <laughs> the refs, Ryan Moore, the people that were willing to help me out when I was a production assistant to make sure the stream was running smoothly, Coley, who does such an amazing job as the tech guy, for the main stage and make sure everything runs smoothly there as well. And everyone else that has invested time in me or gave me a shot to one, be a production assistant and two, be talent and interview these players. Uh, it really has been a dream come true. And most especially to everybody that supports the show that jumps on my stream on the off hours uh, to check out games that I'm streaming and to all the people from the pro teams and the pro leagues and the pro players and the managers that when I've asked, hey, can I interview this player? Hey, can I do this? Have said, you know what? Sure, I'd love to or have been on this show. Those kind of things where I may not be able to compensate them um, other than thank yous and smiles. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't feel like it's enough, but for them it's enough and that means a lot to me. So thank you to everybody from MLG, to everybody that watches the show, and to everybody around the world that wants to see esports grow, because it will, and it's going to grow because of you guys. Thank you so much. And you should plan to see me Thursday, January 5th, for the first episode of Shifting Gears in 2012. Thanks a lot, everybody. God bless you. We'll see you in 2012. Good night. Take it easy. Have a good one. <laughs>